Hey, what is going on guys? Evanator Edits back here with another product review. Um, I'm thinking about doing a lot more product reviews on this channel. If you guys like that idea, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, and like this video. So today, you probably clicked on this video because you want to know a little bit more about Arachdonic Acid by Enhanced Athlete. And one thing that I want to mention about this video is this is not me encouraging you to buy any supplements. This is strictly for informational and entertainment purposes. This is not a paid advertisement. I'm not a doctor. You should always talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. So I wanted to make this video to give you a non-biased and honest opinion about this product. You're probably wondering what does arachidonic acid actually do for you? Because there are some reviews on the internet circulating about this product. A lot of people are not honest. I don't know the point of not being honest about a product review. In probably the most simple and short way I can explain it, this is best for strength and muscle gains. Arachidonic acid is essentially a fatty acid, which is consumed in a lot of regular diets in very small amounts. This is something that a lot of people like to compare to creatine because with creatine, you can find it naturally produced in your body and you can find small amounts of creatine in foods like steak. If you take arachidonic acid pre-workout, one thing that you're going to notice is that there is an exaggerated inflammation in the muscle, and this creates an exaggerated healing response from the workout. And I promise you that I was going to be completely honest and non-biased about this product. If you are natural and you've never experienced something like an enhanced pump, um, this is very similar to something that would feel like. Depending on your training, some people might not like this because it can actually get to a point where your pumps feel painful some people might feel uncomfortable with such a painful pump it feels like your muscles are extremely full dense hard and vascular now you might have issues moving the muscle group that you just worked out but one thing that i also experimented with was taking this post-workout after my workout instead i took arachidonic acid for about one week straight before my workouts and everything was going great but then i started to notice my muscles felt like they were staying sore for too long and my tendons felt a little bit more pressure than usual while lifting heavier weights so this is ultimately what i ended up sticking with i took it post-workout because taking it pre-workout you notice soreness in the muscle as well as tendons and ligaments and in contrast taking arachidonic acid post-workout i mainly just felt it in the muscle so it took out the tendon and ligament problems that i was having a huge point to note about this product is that yes this is going to make your soreness extremely exaggerated so what i ended up doing was not taking this every day i realized taking this every day is not good i brought it down to about two to three times a week until i was done with the bottle and i found out that was actually the best thing to do for optimal gains now of course everybody's body is going to respond differently to different supplements but while taking this product one thing that i do recommend is that you take time to really warm up and stretch your muscles because they are going to be very tight the way that i found arachidonic acid to be the most effective in my training was using it on the days that i was training the muscle group that i had to bring up or they were my weak points mainly my legs and my triceps so i would be taking this on leg days and tricep days so if you're smart about it you can use this to target specific muscle groups that you want to bring up now ultimately arachidonic acid is a supplement for muscle size and muscle strength now something that i noticed is that i did not get that much bigger um, one thing that I noticed was my muscles were a little bit harder, um, more dense, but they did not feel like they got bigger. They did not look like they got bigger. Same thing with my legs. I was gaining a little bit of strength on my squat, but also I think that was just due to the amount of volume that I was doing. So in my opinion, I would more describe this product as a muscle hardener, or it can help you put on lean muscle mass very slowly. If you are taking arachidonic acid or you're considering it, make sure that you are not taking it on days that you are not training. Um, this is specifically a supplement that you should utilize pre or post workout, depending on what you want to do. Ultimately, it's up to you and what your body responds to best. Like I said, my body responded better to taking this post workout because I felt less tendon and joint issues. You can use arachidonic acid to resensitize your muscles to the muscle building peptides and hormones that are released during exercise. A lot of people who have been going to the gym for years and years notice that it's harder to get a pump 
um, it's harder to break down the muscle and get that muscle inflammation or soreness. So that is ultimately what I used it for. Did arachidonic acid actually work for me? What results did I notice? I did not notice any weight gain. One thing that I did notice is that the muscle groups that I was taking it pre-workout for, it felt like they were getting more hard and dense. So in my opinion and my experience, I would, I would rather classify this as a muscle hardener. One thing that I forgot to say about arachidonic acid is that if you do end up taking this supplement pre-workout, you're going to notice the effects during that workout. It doesn't have to take time to really get in your system. Um, in other words, it gets in your system very fast. So you're going to feel the effects of the inflammation, the really painful pump, because the very first time that I was taking this product and for the, the week that I was taking it, I was actually taking it right before I left for the gym. I live about 20 minutes from the gym, so take it um, along with my pre-workout, drive 20 minutes to the gym, start working out, and I would definitely notice the soreness kicking in. So overall, rating arachidonic acid, enhanced athlete's product, I'm going to have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Do I recommend this for newbie lifters? No, absolutely not. Do I recommend this for advanced lifters? It depends on what your goals are. If you want lean muscle gains, yes. If you're looking for extreme strength, no. If you're looking for intense, painful muscle pumps, yes. So that was my full in-depth, honest review of Enhanced Athlete's Arachidonic Acid. If you guys have anything you want to add or questions you may have, make sure to drop a comment down below in the comment section, as well as leave a like on this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications if you want more product reviews. So that being said, this was Evanator Edits. Everybody stay safe. Don't catch coronavirus, catch swoliosis. I'll see you guys later.